Hi, this is Hank. Hi, Hank. Hi, Hi Thomas. Uh, we don't have Michael yet. That is, uh, we are only four. Oh, it's Eastern. It's close to pro Easter proximity, I see. Okay. I don't know, I just I'm surprised joined. Michael wasn't here since he pushed a pull request uh, about seven minutes ago. I assume that he is fetching a beverage of his uh, liking right now and he'll join <laughs> us very soon. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, and uh, uh, for me, this is uh, a vacation because my kids are at the grandparents. The sun is shining uh, already, and this is a disclosure, I drank a cocktail. And so I'm very, very happy about the situation right now. <laughs> uh, this is almost like holiday. So you're in, agree in an agreeable mood today. Yes, I am. Uh, just just, <laughs> just uh, uh, tell me that I'm cool and, and I, will, I will agree to your contentious items. You're cool. <laughs> this is what I expect from you, like literally, because uh, computing science, description logic, affine guys that think in graphs would say exactly that. Mm. By the way, uh, um, Dave, I, uh, I, I passed another, uh, or the, I crossed another threshold uh, in the endeavor of joining CCC today. Nice. Does that mean you joined or you crossed another hurdle on the path towards it? Towards it, but, but, but coming close to it. Uh, so so that, the, the, the resolve was we don't have to involve the German-wide 25,000 employees big uh, 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 so, so I don't know call it um, the supervisor board uh, because uh, there are so already some decisions that have been made there in, in context of Linux Foundation. So uh, so we can de-escalate that process a little bit. Well, the meetings are open, so you're welcome to attend the meetings regardless. So oh, and the, the Tuesday meetings are open. Okay, yeah, that no, would the, be interesting. Uh, all the CCC meetings are open, uh, and the tech, the technical meetings are on Thursdays. And so uh, I'm there, Thomas Fasade is there, Eric Voigt is there, and anybody else is welcome to join us. I, I can't see that because tech is not public lists. Um, you yeah. have to create an account, but anybody in the world can create an account for free. Oh, yeah, I, 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 I'm, I might have to do that. <laughs> hey, hey. Um, hey, so there's, I, the, there's the attestation, the first attestation meeting, if you want to join. By when is that today? Two yes. hours from now. Two hours yeah. from now. Oh, yeah, that's a good point, God. Thomas. Yeah. yeah, there's probably a conflict with uh, TCG, though, Hank. No, two hours from now is um, at, we are at 4 p.m. German time. It's 6 p.m. German time. It's a conflict with SPDX so. SBOM. Yeah, Thomas, I don't know about you, but I got the impression that today is purely about process stuff and probably very little technical stuff today. So. Yeah, yeah, it is, it is, Dave. It's, we're gonna I can join two meetings. Yeah. That is yeah. something I do, unfortunately. But actually, so, um, Thomas, could you just uh, push the link to me and my, to my inbox? Of course, but uh, if, you, if you plan to join, we there, there might be some, some good, good arguments. Change in Zoom. This. For moving this this meeting slot to another point in time, I think. Yeah, that might be interesting. So I could chime in there. Um, Let me just forward you the meeting invite. Thank you. I will I will join the logistic thing, SPDX at the moment, and it's basically SBOM, NTIA, three TTT, OGM, yeah. SPDX, whatever this all this yeah. conglomerate. Jeez. CCC yeah. just created a, a SIG specific to attestation. And so, for example, if there's anybody that has an open source implementation of the each spec that would like to uh, it would be interested in donating that to the CCC as a legal home under the Linux Foundation, that this would be an appropriate place to home such projects. Oh, I do have one, which is open source. Yeah, no, no, yeah, no surprise there. Right. The CCC <laughs> is a home for open source projects, right? It's just it's a legal structure underneath the Linux Foundation that uh, uh, allows you know support for open source projects, evangelization, and legal um, 
support in a in a LLC sense. So. so I see we have uh, Michael, we have one Michael, we have one Waypen, and Ned as additional participants. So I think we have a critical mass now. Michael, do you have audio now? Uh, how about now? Yes. Um, yes. Yes. Now I have audio. Um, um, yeah, I uh, I was talking to Hank uh, 20 minutes ago, and I suggested that a way forward on one of the issues was to rebase it. So I was busy doing that, and and then the hour, the clock turned without me paying attention. Um, okay, so great. So uh, let me share a screen. Oh. Uh, so you guys were just talking about days. So the, the critical thing was that I can't be in the meeting next next week, the 6th. I have a demo exactly at the same time that I'm supposed to lead. Um, and so I was asking whether we could, and I also would prefer not to have be in a meeting on the 13th because of another scheduled event uh, outside my control. So my question was whether we could replace the, those uh, some Tuesday, uh, Tuesday meetings with Friday meetings. If you guys want to go ahead without me next Tuesday, that's fine too. Um, and then we had the conversation about where I wasn't sure how many people actually would be willing to th show up on what might be a stat holiday um, on the second of Friday the second. Um, but it sounds like everyone could do the ninth. And noting that Dave prefers 11 a.m. And then I guess you guys are talking about your other obligation on the. Friday at 11. Oh, we were talking about another obligation uh, uh, on uh, today, two hours from now. So. Oh, OK. All right. So uh, I just knew that that I thought that that Hank said that his 11 a.m. is 11 a.m. I'm dealing in Eastern time. Sorry. Um, mm -hmm. uh, his 11 a.m. obligation involved gotcha. Thomas and Thomas said he couldn't make it at 11 because he had that obligation. Um, but, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but I, so I was unclear whether or not that meant that it was only with Thomas, uh, or whether, uh, there was other people involved. So, uh, since it's my fault for changing this, I, uh, am willing to go with whatever you guys prefer. Um, but, uh, including just go ahead without me. So, um, I thought your, your original proposal was fine. So with okay. me, Michael. My, the April 16 at 10 p.m. was problematic for me. So 11 a.m. would be better if that was that is what you're talking about. So, better for Dave. It's a better for Dave because it's an hour later. Mm -hmm. uh, and if it's better for you, then we'll go with, ele with 11. OK, excellent. So and that was on the 16th, you said? Yes. Yes, uh, yes on the 16th. But but is it what about the 9th and the 2nd? Are you do you prefer? Uh, is that that is uh, equally okay for me? Okay, so I I will change it to that, and that's three more meetings, and then I hope we're done actually at that point. So, um, and we've added one meeting that's actually two this week, and then uh, we'll maybe we'll be done actually by the sixteenth. Okay, so okay. sharing just this thing. Like, yeah. Michael, just 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 a quick Hank shout out. So Ned and Thomas, you're okay sacrificing Friday for this, right? <clears throat> I was thinking of moving one hour later or Fridays. Uh, that is possible on this Friday. Next Friday, that is not a holiday anymore. I don't know because you know kids. But yeah, uh, this Friday, I can do one hour later. Okay, right, well, mm -hmm. uh, okay, sorry. I just don't want us to lose our, our, our yeah. uh, momentum because uh, I feel like we have it. And um, that's the my main concern. Okay, so there's a this is offline. Sorry, yeah. Let, let's yeah, let's come back to this. Uh, maybe people think about it for a moment and and uh, there. So let's come back to this. So there's a bunch of um, there's a bunch of um, pull requests that have gotten a few review, a few uh, thumbs up review. Uh, so I'm going to come back to them in a moment. Um, so, but I wanted to start with this because it's big and I think we can finish it. Okay. Um, so what I did is. Uh, so there were two places where Dave asked, why are the sentences been removed? And I found, in, for me, in reviewing them, I found it really difficult to come back to figure out what was going on and to look through it again. So what I have done 
is I created, I took all of the commits from this one and I put them in this, this one, except for the commits that removed those sentences, I think. <laughs> okay. So, uh, and it's rebased. So there was already some conflicts that had to be sorted out. Uh, so I've done that in the last few minutes. So this is all, all the commits that, uh, I've already been through and we've already went through and there should be no comments on this. This all, uh, so the only um, remaining comments no, that's not true. Or... There, there yeah. are comments because we talked about them in the meeting last time. And so I was going through apparently at the same time as you were rebasing this one, um, and catching some of the places we talked about last time. Uh, and, that's um, okay. So I just the... copied some of the comments into here. So. So, so that's actually great. Thank you, Dave, because what I was worried is that we had missed comments and that it was being hard to review the, the many different things with uh, there. So, um, uh, so this comment, thank you. That's, that's, that's uh, was a question I was gonna ask. I wasn't sure if we had actually had dealt with that question or not. So we need to revert all of uh, many of these or? Well, uh, I think Hink was going to make a pass and revert some of them and look some at them, them one by one. And so I commented on the ones that would be questionable that I don't know if we should be reverted. But my guess is Lawrence would probably want them reverted. But uh, certainly there's one on Fido that's probably more strong. This one, uh, I couldn't tell either way. So the first one that we looked at, uh, that was just highlighted by Michael in the screen share, I think we already agreed about uh, reversing. I, I did not see any actions on my part because I thought we did that last meeting. So yeah, this is- No, not, uh, I don't think we did. I think we yeah, agreed. We, we did a couple of them that had been commented on, but we didn't do the global pass. And so that's what I was going I to see my chemist before the call doing a global pass, so. Yeah, we can address that places. here ad hoc. We can address that here ad hoc, I think, uh, with yeah, every that's comment fine. because I think they're easy to resolve. And so, um, yes, uh, I agree with Dave. Uh, that is a, uh, that is just, Go on again with a test procedure and fine. And procedure is also the right term activity that I sometimes used as an artifact for my, I don't know, uh, temporarily impaired brain. Uh, that was not the best way to do it. And yes, so procedure is fine. And uh, now that is resolved. Um, okay, so, so there's I'm still gonna... a bunch of other comments on the other one. I'm going through uh, manually copying each one. I'm just down to line 373. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry if that's causing you. I thought I but but captured. Dave, you're I doing this I, so I, I didn't know you were doing the pass at the same time, so we had a, a collision because I was editing these at the same time as as you were already snapshot. So, uh, yeah. So I, I I thought that I had captured. We had only two comments left, but um, you're telling me we did not. We had more things somehow open. I thought we'd resolve them. Is what I thought. Um, uh, uh, right. So what I'm doing is I'm in 296, just scanning for unresolved comments and then copying okay. them over if the line is still the same. So. Okay, so this line, should be. It's it's consistent with the uh, with the line before. It's fine with me. So here, remote attestation, and here we have this is there. This is probably correct. Yeah, that is of course all correct. Uh, yeah, uh, correct enough. We need to revert this, is what I'm saying. No, I'm not saying that. Okay, sorry. Because it is literally just capitalization. And if you're using the term, you're using the term. So okay, i just trying to it. confirm, that's all. Yeah, okay. Sorry, I'm not looking at your screen right now, Michael. I'm looking between the other ones, so. This one was so the this is one that, has, that Dave did not capture yet. Uh, I think because he said he'd stopped somewhere around that. Uh, it's, uh, it's it's in the FIDO, um, FIDO context, Dave. It's it's about the uh, remote attestation procedure stuff. We're changing just, it back to you, you continue attestation. doing what you're doing, and and I I haven't committed these, so we'll come back and review review them. Yeah, uh, yeah. I thought I did push over the the FIDO one, the line meaning. I thought I put a comment on that one. I wonder if you need to refresh or if I didn't push. Maybe same. it does not show just right now. So, but we uh, maybe have a you know, conflicting suggestion <laughs> that would I don't know. Create a singularity of birth. I don't know how that works actually. Um, but the 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 you are the graphical user interface accepted the suggestion, which means that you did not provide one. 
it does not mean that they're not in conflict and one of us has to hit refresh. Exactly, but, but you might have co uh, provided a comment and they will uh, now uh, collapse and then the new comment is addressed by the yeah, uh, suggestion. Um, okay. So that's fine. Uh, Michael scrolling down, we are at line 700 is right now. I'm not seeing another change remote attestation. I'm just looking for that. I'm not yeah, looking for the other one. No. Yeah, so the lines that I that? tried to add something, and I think you've already touched on, I think, over the last one, but let's just check. So 250, That's fine. 272, 333, 373, and 107. We are not at 1087 yet. We are at no, 1087 is it? you won't catch that one because that was a different uh, comment, not related to the uh, that thing. Ah, okay. Okay, let's do this pass here then with the other context in mind. We're almost at the bottom. Uh, and it's very so unlikely that we are in context of something else. You just okay. passed the point that I added a comment, so I know that you haven't refreshed, but go ahead and keep looking. So. Uh, remote attestation. Yeah, that, that is fine okay. also. That one's OK. Yeah, this should be like I don't know Reddit that says there are updates to your uh, feed. Yeah, yeah, it does. It'll do that. It just it will do that, but it hasn't. Um, okay. We do have experiences where some of the the batches get undone if you hit refresh. That's why I'm hesitant to do it until we're. Yeah, do the batch first. Do not refresh. That might be state that is. So lost. were were all these edits yours personally, Hank? All the edits in that branch. In, in, in 96, yeah. Good. So it was a really good English pass, so well done. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, I, I tried to both do language and consistency. Uh, yeah, thank yeah you. I mean, I think you sometimes say English isn't your first language, but yo, know, this was really good, so nice job. Okay, so uh, I'm going to... Uh... If you know how this works, so you're 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 masking your actual mistakes by that really easily by saying ah, I'm not a native speaker, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is not what I want. I don't think it's what I want. Yeah, but I want to commit the suggestion now. Oh, come on. Okay, this didn't really work the way I expected it to. Sorry. Okay, so now I can see your your suggestions, Dave. Okay, so let's go through those. Literally a second pass. <laughs> you can probably just search for Thaler and hit to this and find yeah. it. I tried to address that. Uh, the G G GUI did not let me. I, I, was, um, I was trying to put it in there, but it says this so is already you, deleted. I, and I, don't know. I think you changed 362 to back to procedure. I don't know if it yeah. still is in Michael's poll, but this one was left. And so the now they're not consistent. Yeah, OK. So yeah, not, I, 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 I you did a suggestion. And Michael didn't accept your suggestion in 362. Oh, so maybe. You can see it says uh, the second line of 362, it says this activity. And the other one, yeah, Hank okay. had done a uh, suggested text of this procedure. Yeah, then we can redo it. But uh, the, the problem here is the 372 
I was technically incapable to do it from this interface. I was like, I, I, I can't just give up. <laughs> yeah, on. yeah, right. So that's why we were trying to do so. I'm sorry. So 362, say activity. Where it says this activity is called the appraisal evidence. And then 373, oh, this is. activity is called the appraisal attestation results. And we want to change this to? Procedure. Which was Hank's suggestion, which I liked, so. Yeah, it's like super consistent. So, uh, yeah, yeah, activities. The remote attestation done. procedures, two of those procedures in the remote attestation procedures are appraisal of evidence and appraisal of attestation results. So it has a nice terminology yeah. consistency. It, it is an artifact. I just reviewed another document before where there are things are called activities. And so that was like an artifact. <laughs> so, but now with and the three, uh, three, three eighty, thing, so, no, no. sorry, three, 372. That down one. It's, now. it's now 373 oh. because you said it. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Yeah. Yeah, now it works. Of course it does work now. So I don't know why my <laughs> told me like, no, you can't do this. And I did it manually and then everything went red. I was okay. Now I'm giving up on this. And so, okay, cool. Okay. So I'm just going to that commit suggestions. I was just so not then... ready to openly declare defeat by technology here in the comments. So, uh, So I think there's only one left. So resolve this. Uh, mm -hmm. Yep. Similarly, yep. what about 387? Uh, it hasn't refreshed or something because you can see, see 373 still says activity. So. There we go. Yep. Okay. And what so about 387? 1087, give or take, somewhere in that neighborhood. So, but there was something about 387 here. This actual. No, that, that one was fine. That that was where it already right. said uh, pilot procedures and yeah. uh, the other two said activity. And so, this the, the third one was the one that was used the word that we now use now. Okay. So, um, so I think it was you, somewhere you around 1087. What's the last one? Sounds good to me. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm always, uh, that's an editorial thing, actually. That's the style of the whole text. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, leaning towards the plural. Um, and I would not say that it is better now. I, I'm say, I would say that I'm okay with it. Um, but uh, of course, in, in, in general, uh, a relying party is open world assumption of supporting multiple formats, and that should be the text here. Uh, but phrasing it down to singular is implying, I think, into the wrong closed world assumption. But uh, again, that's a super nit on my part, I guess. So I'm fine. I've always still, you know, find it amazing that that zero having zero of something implies the plural. Yeah, and that is what it <laughs> always is. It, it, everything is plural. It's not singular. And so uh, That's uh, uh, nothing yeah. singular and everything in composite is plural. And so, okay. so I don't think we have any more comments open on this at this point. I'm good to merge. I'm good to merge. Okay. All right. So let's merge this and let's move. Hank, to Hank the... is an agreeable is in an agreeable mer mood. So let's merge. Yeah. See, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm I'm giving you the signal. <laughs> so go with that. <laughs> okay great so now there were some places so what does that do to the what does that do to 296 then does that need to be rebased or no so i rebased it i rebased it on the on the um i thought i did says it wrong here that says it wrong oh no now of course it's merged so it's the same thing um so I re so the the two commits that I pulled out of that the what was there before, I put them in this. So actually, what I did is I rebased I rebased this this one on the other one. Oh, I see. Okay, and so that removed all the things that were already done, leaving just the things that that the commits gotcha. that removed those sentences uh, were there. So now we can just consider the sentences and whatever other little bits they they happen to have touched. 
I got you. So uh, multiple things do a singular depend. What? No, no. You, I, yes, I agree with that one. That one's that one's correct. English fix. Depends. Yes, yeah. that's a correct fix. Yeah. Uh, so as I said, I just removed the commit entirely. Yep. I just deleted yep. it from the list, and then yep. Those uh, are fine. And then the thing. All fine. And so then this was the one of the sentences that you were complaining. Why were these lines right. removed? Right? right. Okay. So that's where we can have the conversation more intelligently. That see the context of it is without all the other changes that we did. Yep. I put them back I... in. I have no idea. I, I, I think that was a trigger finger on my editor, I assume, because I'm, I actually don't know why I should have done that. It is content and that is should be, should be reversed. Yeah. So let's put them back in. And if there's a reason to remove, then somebody can file a new issue. Exactly. So, so yeah, I, I can't think of a reason and I did it. So. <laughs> oh. Fair enough. Uh, I think you have to have at least one non-deleted line. Yeah, like the blank line above it to include in that. Um, no. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Sure. <laughs> what? Oh, now, now I might understand why I was not able to add that activity out, uh, to edit the activity out. Maybe I did not mark the area correctly. Okay. Hmm. Did it put back in? Why is it not showing up in green? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, this does not look right. This is exactly my problem. <laughs> it just, it's just all red. And that was my problem why I gave up on that. Oh, here we go. So. It's fine, except yeah. that maybe uh, I see. The maybe I have a blank no. line. Oh yeah, put the blank line back in. I see. So the oh, refreshing might have helped. Okay. This exercise is such refreshing. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah, it is. Uh, I hope it is, but not now. Okay, so let's just reload again. Yeah, please. Uh, yeah, this looks excellent. Uh, this is editing it in again. It's a plus for many and wonderful. Yeah. Sorry, that wasn't okay. the right. All right, so um, but where was the other sentence that we, oh, here, this is it, okay. So, uh, and so actually, I actually restored the sentence and when I did the rebase, you would ask why mostly, well, so the first sentence got rewritten a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Um, no. And well, so then this. It looks like the only difference there is line breaks. Where the line break? Uh, well, okay, so only, I put a yeah. line break in, but I, but I, uh, we had previously this sentence was removed. Yeah. Okay, so I just restored it and with a line break. I, I actually it added that the C message is in. There was something very more verbose there. I removed that. And I remember. Yeah, but I'm saying both red and green have the updated text. The only difference between yeah. red and green is the line break. Both so, of them so are the updated it, version for you, Hank. But, exactly. but previously, so this, previously, this sentence was removed. Yeah. Okay. That's kind of and what actually. I added it to no, C messages. Right, I agree. It was, I agree. Hank added it. Yeah. Oh, all so, right. So there's a snafu there. Something weird happened with the revision system, and I, I probably it's my fault, but I did not. I don't know the cause. You didn't, you didn't mean to do you, that. You, 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 you're fixing it correctly, so that's fine. Okay. All right. So I'm going to merge this. Yep. Fine. There we go. Come on. And now you know that I can actually remember things, but I will not agree to that in any other context. Uh, I, I'm sorry, I'm not going to remember that you said that. I, Thank you. I, I don't think that he, yeah, he thought that's the right answer. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you want to do Elliot? Now that he he uh, fixed up his the second one from the bottom. So this is so about he, the introduction. Uh, he removed it from the abstract, I hope. I did not check that. 
Yes, it did get removed from the abstract. Yeah. 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 yeah, he did what we asked him to do. And I had three minor wording comments. Uh, but I can live with it as he had it. I just think it's better with these three wording comments. And he took away the second person in here, which we asked him to do. Yep. So that was great. So he removes, I'm, I'm not sure. So the, um, so he replaced content, correct? Yes, he replaced the abstract and added a paragraph at the beginning of the introduction. Yeah, no, no. I'm, I'm trying to find a very, I'm, I'm trying to find a place. You want to see it all together? again yeah. here so Please. there we go so there's the abstract okay that was what we had and he rewrote it slightly let me, let me just give it give me a sec and a minute a minute okay i don't like useful but i'm okay Proper is also the colloquial. Uh, I, I like intended operational state actually better. Uh, but the rest is okay. Uh, so, uh, uh, yeah, so that's I like Hank's okay. suggestion of intended operating state, so better than proper and, and intended. What? Okay. Hang on here. Yeah, the, the rest is fine, I, I think. Apparently, this didn't work. Huh? Oh. Swoosh. Also, uh, are we want do we want to call this a memo? I know that memo. There's some is, tradition. <laughs> yeah, it's a tradition. Uh, status of this status that. of this memo. Okay, no, no, no. I'm not, I'm, the, the, the object is the problem. So, sorry, the, the memo. So, no, not object. Uh, the, the the memo. Uh, typically, I when I do spec work, it's document. Yeah. Uh, memo is fine. We are not using that term ever again. So that's a uh, consistency but, thing. I'm I'm not sure. I'm, yeah, I, I saw in in the ones that we just merged Hank's editorial pass. Hank had changed draft to document, which I liked, and so I would tend to agree that document would be more consistent with the rest of the rest of the thing, even though the template has the status of this document at the top. So, mm -hmm. or, sorry, it says this memo. Is that yeah? That is, that's right. actually correct. So me memo is is the traditional IETF wording. And yeah. if I would think of this as a memo, <laughs> I would agree, but I think that it outgrew the, the context of a memo. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. We agree. Did that work? And then, Hank, did you need a minute for the intro? Sorry. No, paragraph? Uh, the intro, yeah. Just give me a sec. I'm, I'm sorry that I did not prepare for that. Uh, I, I saw the change, unfortunately. There we go. Okay. The actually. document is done. Document. Yeah, is, of a uh, minute. This is middle. Okay, no, it, yeah, introduction. The abstract is fine. Um, and, and introduction is next. Yeah, so we didn't change anything that's there. He just added this preface yeah. in front of it. Yeah, and that is, uh, I, I in, in the comment uh, for the uh, addition to the abstract, I was asking, do you want an abstract to have a question? And unfortunately, I have to restate this here. Um, I, I see the um, editorial style of starting a document with a question. Uh, context always includes question material. Um, unfortunately, I'd say this is a really, um, well, I'm, I'm going to say serious document, but I don't mean that. I don't have a better word. Uh, and, and, and starting with a question is, is like, it's like a heading in the newspaper. Do you think aliens landed on Earth? The always the answer to a question in a title is no. And so uh, <laughs> I do not want to. 
So I do not want to start that way. That 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 oh. gives the impression of no to the to the remainder of the document, and therefore you can never ask a document start a document a question. It's, it's, oh, it's, it's, that it's, I really it's, liked it. I really liked the clickbait. Come on, I really like. No, you know, I, read I this will not start with clickbait. at eleven. That is not a good style. I, 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 I see these the astonishing idea. truths of attestation. <laughs> yeah, I see the idea and I know how it reels people in. But, but, but I would say no to the style. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to say that. So well. I would rephrase that and I would push it back to Elliot, to be honest. Uh, in my opinion, we have to come into agreement here. Course, I don't I don't I don't object as strongly as you Hank. Um <laughs> I see your point. Uh but I rather like it. Um but uh I won't I I I won't stand in the way of either changing it or keeping it. Not very useful that way. Any other opinions on this? Because uh, literally, this tingles my 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 uh, um, elegance. Uh, Peter, Peter, send this document <laughs> two layers up your management. What will they say? <laughs> I, I, mean, I already proved this one, so I think it's fine. So I don't have to. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, I, I I think it's fine too. I liked it, but I I see your point about so, Peter. Yes. I think Michael was asking you so. So, so how would this question work with with you? Well, it's hard to say because sometimes they are very pedantic, and other times they don't care. <laughs> but I think in general, <laughs> um, I, 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 I personally don't really care. I think it looks fine, but uh, yeah, I understand, so I, I can go either way. Hank, do you, uh, is this a is this a hill you want to die on? Yes. It, yes. So so it is. so okay. I will be the only opponent here. Uh, I will I will yield uh, to the hill. Uh, but uh, uh, really, you can't start a document with a question. How? No. Seriously. Uh, but if everybody is, is is thinking like that, I will not be the one guy that says no. But if there's another no, I, we, 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 we will fix this. So, so way and uh, um, who is the unfortunate individual that sit on Matt and <laughs> way? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I I, I mean, did, did any of the official reviewers complain about this? No, because we just oh, no, we just no, added no, no. this text. This is just new. Yeah. No one else journal has seen it yet. Yeah. What? <clears throat> what, I mean, what was uh, there before? I, I don't I, see it. We we it started here. So we've added these twelve lines or something, whatever. We've added these lines here from from Elliot. Well, or, or Elliot is proposing that we get these twelve lines. We haven't added it yet. Yeah, and, and I mean, it's, rather it's than just make it a question, you could just a make bit. it a statement. Just just changes to that that one can never really know if your, a system is trusted, and then uh, leave everything else, and just say that exactly. it's an age, it, it's an age old question. That will satisfy Hank's uh, need to yeah. get rid of the question mark. Um, I think that detracts from the point of the document, so I would not have that wording in here. So this is what you're proposing. Yeah, I, I don't like that because it says uh, – because remember, El Elliot's title here is, why is this work important, right? And this leads with a this work is not important type of impression. Yeah. <clears throat> so and to Hank's point, it's saying – I mean, Hank's point was the answer to the question is no, but <clears throat> I don't know if that was tongue in cheek. It was tongue in cheek. If I, we I not truly be, do we truly believe that our our endeavor here is futile? Is that the first thing we want to say to everybody? No. Even if it is true. Even if it is true. Well, I thought Hank, your I, point I, I think was it is that. True that you, I think it's true you can't know, but I agree that you probably shouldn't start out by saying that. I thought Hank's point was that um, things that ask a question, the answer is typically no, not that the answer to this question is no. 
Exactly. Yeah. And that is a, just a common impression of clickbait. And to, 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 I don't know who said that. And and I, why I, I see the allure here, allure, allure, but but seriously, this is a document. No, I think in, some... I think in journalism, when you have a because often the um, titles of articles, you know, the headlines are questions. And there are ones for which the answer is not known, right? And so if you read the article, yes. if it starts with a question, the answer is not no, it's not yes, it's we don't know yet, it's an open question. And the point of the article is to, is to elaborate on what the question is, so that does not- I absolutely answer. agree with you. In, in real journalism, that is a neutral statement of a question to be resolved and the outcome is unknown. In the press, Unfortunately, it is not. So it is a style mechanism that is superiorly, uh, uh, significantly proportion of, of, of doing this is, is basically saying uh, this is clickbait. So, so the, you're, you're just proposing preposterous things with this style and, and I really don't like it. This is Hank. Only Hank speaking. This is no editorial meaning. This is just Hank's opinion. And so, so uh, that is why I'm saying as a editor, uh, please don't mind me if everybody agrees with something else. But I would say that it's not journalism; it's bad yeah. writing. <clears throat> Here's another suggestion that you could you could do: you could just take the question out and merge it into the second sentence, where you're just saying instead of saying this, just saying the question of um, the uh, age-old question of how one can know that another system can be trusted. <clears throat> yeah, it, has you new, take the, new interest and relevance. Yeah, I might like give you a suggestion. If you start with in a world where trusted computing elements are maturing in processor architecture, there is an age old question um, as to you know whether or not you can whether or not you can know uh, the systems can be trusted. Just kind of take the sentence and start from the middle and flip it around and then it turns into a statement, not a question. It's the same same words almost. I think that was, was Peter was also trying to convey here, but I did not really hear his thought. I th uh, uh, hang on here. So, so uh, what I heard from Peter was to do this. Maybe that I got you wrong, Peter. Um, there was a two quick comments there, but I, uh, I mean that's fine. Uh, it was really just take out the question and just qualify this with what we mean. And then somebody else had suggested the the intro to the section, which I don't really have a problem with. And then Ned suggested that we flip the sentence this way. And I found an uh, an ar how to article on how to write clickbait t uh, titles, <laughs> which did uh, not start with a which did not start with a question. Actually, there's well, a the second. Title the wasn't second, how the can I write a clickbait does. title? Yeah, sorry, actually, sorry, the, second, yeah, the, the second return from Google actually is that literally how to write a great clickbait titles question. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you very much. So so I would remove age old. I would add has found new interest. And uh, then it is a sentence. Uh, so starting from this one or this one? So starting from the suggestion, uh, I would remove age old. The question of how one system can know that another system can be trusted has found new interest and relevance in a world where trusted computing elements are maturing in process architectures. I think that's a PR title now. So that, that is that is just a, a little bit of a buzzword uh, with a little bit of rarity, with a little bit of uh, 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 luring people in. So any objections to this? Let's get him in. And I have no shame in discussing the very first sentence of a document because that happens. So, uh, okay. <laughs> this happens here also. All right. I think we're, com we're. Still a question. It's just it's an implicit question. Exactly. 
it, it's just it's just not a question mark. That is just I don't know very hard for me to swallow a, a pill. But I'm fine with the, the implications and the, the colloquial style of the very early sentences. That is okay. You made me feel okay about this, so there's that. All right, we're merging it. Uh, really? says I have to do a manual merge. Okay, ah. I will do a manual merge on this um, in a few minutes. Let's go back to something else that has gotten. Uh, Thomas said it was okay. I think I said it was okay. This is related to the slots discussion. Uh and I think this is relevant to Maine. My comment is not well taken, I guess, fringe AP style. So I wanted to know why Maine, the word Maine, if it's going to be quoted up here, why it wasn't quoted down here. Dave explained that's not the style. So I'm going to withdraw my comment. Yes. I actually have to agree with Dave. So you, you're, you're highlighting yeah. the curiosity of the moment once, but you don't have to reiterate it. Okay. Having said that, I, I was approve. just pointing to an academic reference that uh, explains when that's appropriate. So it's, it's... You did. Okay, that's good. Uh, yeah, the, the... Okay. AP, okay. yeah, I was sort of like, uh, yeah, yeah, okay, I don't know. And you don't... Uh... And now it says this yeah. one's in conflict too. So okay, uh, that's because of the um, the uh, style change, the global pass or whatever. It changed some capitalization. I think in the same sentence or the same uh, paragraph. Props. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'll figure that out. Yep. Uh, sorry. I think I want to. Yes, yeah, style issues tend to cluster. Um, I guess I want to. I guess I'll sign this myself. I just don't, I don't want to miss which ones we did. Um, and like I think Elliot's conflict is probably because you know remote attestation or something was capitalized yeah. or uncapitalized in the abstract, and you touch the abstract. So yeah, Perhaps. clarify slots. So um, sign it. I just want to note it somehow how that I need to merge them. Okay, so next um, epoch. Yeah, so uh, I I, um, I thought about this a lot, and uh, the uh, the concept conveyed in the Reds architecture actually uh, might be an epoch ID, although the solution later might extend on the identity slash uh, identifier of uh, of an epoch, and and convey more data. And, and I'm not sure if we want to capture that here, but I have to uh, at least acknowledge the notion that the concept try, uh, that is intended to be captured here in the architecture is the ID of an epoch. Um, again, I would really stress the point that it is more in practice and it is misleading to talk about an ID here, but mm -hmm. I agree that the architecture does not elaborate on that point a lot. Well, I, I think that it's an architectural concept and that there needs to be an implementation document somewhere that explains, you know, how it really works. Right? Yeah, that is not done yet. Uh, and we will, this is the third item in queue. So an ID on epoch handles, and I'm using the term deliberately right now, uh, will not be in place in a relevant time. Uh, no, of course this not. Becomes, yeah. I, so, I, um, I don't mind. I don't mind that this architecture says that this is something that looks like this, uh, but that there's, but that it's a non-normative appendix. I think it's it's not normative to the architecture because it doesn't put it doesn't put any requirements back in the architecture. Rather, it explains how some pieces can go together at an abstract level. 
And I think that's fine. I don't think we have to have an implementation draft to point to. Okay, so so again, uh, I, I, I will not object ID. I have to still reiterate that Carsten Baumann uh, recommended to use the term epoch bar that I'm not a huge fan of, but oh. I think it's it's an equivalent thing to uh, to the ID because the bar bars you from reaching another epoch. Uh, it's a bar or a barrier. Uh, yeah, you know, it's like a, like in the uh, I don't know uh, Olympics games where you yes. jump these things. That's a, you know, so so that, that it's a term from there, and and I, I I actually accept the analogy, and I think it's better than an ID, because ID is too abstract. I think personally, but also I am going with consensus, of course, because editor. And so uh, uh, these are two uh, the heads heads on is. I am fine with each of the resolution as long as there's consensus. Head off, I don't think that ID is precise enough and ID is just a point in time in the semantics here, and that's not true. Uh, the point in time conveys more than that. And so I think ID is misleading, but that's just Hank as a contributor. What's is there a problem with using bar? Is there another word that's better? <laughs> there are no good words. That is the actual yeah, problem. I, I, uh, yeah, I really don't like the word bar. There was like four or five different points thrown out during IATF meetings or you know, names or terms or whatever. Yeah. This is the one that people not on the call just started using naturally as being the easiest one to think about and say. And so I just went with what seemed to be the most sticky term in people's minds. Yeah, in people's minds does not mean reflection of the content here. The people, the really people in the room agreed to that term and nobody else knew. I exactly, and I still think that people agreeing to into uh, in a room does not mean a reflection of the meaning. I really have to stress this as an editor, and that is not a uh, this is not uh, outcome specific. This is outcome agnostic. Uh, I, what I really know is that uh, an agreement in a room on one occasion is not reflecting the intent and content of a document. And uh, so that, 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 that necessarily has to reflect uh, that. Sorry, let me rephrase All right. that. So um, what I'm hearing is that we might want to accept this as, as an improvement, mm -hmm. um, but that we may still want to go back to the working group and say, we're not entirely sure that we have consensus of the working group on this particularly we had the word id is what happened during the meeting and we have not taken this consensus test to the uh to the working group um exactly so because uh, i would really issue that question and now hank is taking a specific head on and that is another contributor's head and uh uh, th this will ripple out into other documents. So uh, I'm fine, actually, as heck, uh, to uh, uh, accommodate whatever term we use here. I can work around these with these words. That is not a problem. But I really uh, would I, like I, to have another con inconvenience. So so that's why I would like to escalate that a little bit. So, so let me suggest also that the architecture could get pr published with this term in it. And an implementation document can along come along and use a different term that makes more sense yes. given the context of the thing. And that's okay because we are simply explaining uh, you know, the concept. And uh, exactly we don't have to get if someone comes up with a better term in a year, that's okay. It doesn't have to be consistent with this. Exactly. And then we can take up that, I don't know, whatever finding period of a good term. Uh, and there. So uh, again, I, I started this with the, the, the notion. I think the architecture focuses on the ID part, and it is fine for the architecture to do that. I just think it is misleading to other things out there, and therefore will uh, push the responsibility to remediate that misnomer to, and sorry, that's a hyperbole a little bit, uh, this misnomer uh, to the uh, related document, which is typically not fair of an editor to do. So that is why I'm writing that. And so uh, again, uh, knowing that I'm also re responsible to, to, to some of the other, I'm recusing myself from the decision. 
So, <clears throat> so we had ha we had handle. We didn't like handle because it had the same problems that ID has. No, it has worse. Problems no, it has it, yeah, much worse problems. Pete, the the other working groups between Rats and Teep and stuff said IDs was fine. Handles is not. Handle has handle. There's, there's a specific there, ITF document that yeah. refers yeah. to handles in its title as its primary but, thing, and it's mm -hmm. uh, has some overlapping uh, constituency, and so that's why it's a but, problem. But in both cases, the real draft's going to change it from either ID or handle to something else that's more correct that we don't know what it is yet. Well, yeah, it, some it might, protocol. And, and and you're assuming that there's only one draft, which we don't know yet. There could be zero, one, or two drafts that have that, that fit into this concept. We don't know. Yeah, yeah, and they may they may use a correct. they may yeah. use a term which they may use different terms, and those terms may be more specifically related to the specific technology behind their yeah. ID that they use, um, for instance. Or it could they may use ID because they can't think of anything else. Yep. Completely agree with Michael. If you had it, at one implementation might choose to use GUIDs or UUIDs, and somebody else might use something else and use a different term. So. Plus one to Michael. Okay. Okay. So let's merge question. this. Sorry. Let's yeah. merge this. Let's then take the this to the mailing list as something that we've done. We've changed it from handle to ID. We're not completely attached to ID, um, and we don't want to. We're not putting any constraints on downstream documents that they have to use this term if they're implementing this. Thank you. That is all yeah. I'm asking for. That is also I will not. Uh, way in, into the conclusion of the decision, and uh, I'm happy to see the discussion. I will uh, hear to the other side. And I see I have to manually merge this one yeah. as well. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm sorry that I'm blocking this a little bit uh, as an editor, but uh, uh, for for the sake of the uh, context, that that uh, I think um, so I, I, I have I have a question. Um, if you're, uh, is it fair to assume that the reader of this document would know what you just concluded about not putting any constraints? Should the no, I would. More... I propose to add a paragraph to the bottom yeah. of this as a as a as yeah. a just little note at the very bottom that says. I mean, um, uh, why why would that concept appropriate? be specific to Epic ID? Doesn't that apply to every term in the entire document? Probably. I, I would not want to see something called out specific to this that says, oh, you have freedom on this one, but not on the other terms. That would just seem odd to me. We, we uppercase the important terms and lowercase the yeah, unimportant so, so terms. Significance means uh, you can, of course, say the architecture say, uh, calls it this. We in our solution calls it this. It, 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 uh, it, it augments semantics here. Uh, profiling it does not matter. Profiling is uh, narrower. Uh, if you go broader with the semantics, uh, that's a problem. I think ID does not suffice typical employment deployment scenarios, and that is Hank, not an editor. And so, um, so I, I'm, I'm fine with, with, with Peter's comment. Would the text please highlight this? It doesn't do now. I think that was your uh, the spirit of your comment. And 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 yes, I would agree with that. Uh, Peter, please contradict me if you had, that was not your intent. No, that's uh, right. I, I mean, I was wondering, is it appropriate just to have a footnote? Yeah, something like that. Well, I thought the footnote was appropriate, but um, it sounds like we're in in we're not in we don't have a conclusion. Um, um, So oh, uh, yeah. we have 324 up on the screen. Given that yeah, I want to keep making progress with their pull request, I filed this issue, and there's at least uh, two ways that I can go. I'm happy to do the work, but I would like we, people's opinions on which way to go on this one. So. All right, so let's just okay. have a brief conversation before we... we no, 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 no. I can't have a brief conversation, unfortunately, right, so, because I have to so go, you, but I will take this one. You here, need to so read it. Right. So you just need to read it and think about yeah, it. Yeah, you can come back to list, uh, comment over email or whatever, but I, I, I do want to know how to proceed on this one. This one's fairly easy to see if you look at the table of contents uh, of the document. So the, as number it's right is, now. the number is 325. Okay, three everybody two five. look at 325 for as a homework for next week. Yeah. Okay. Well, no, because I want to be able to do work before next time. And so oh, I would, shoot. Like, I would uh, like comments sorry. ASAP so I know how to create a pull request. Because <laughs> I can imagine at least two different ways to do this one. And maybe you'll think of a third way, uh, which is the way that you want. So. 
Okay, not okay. blocking, but supporting Dave. Please look at this one as early as possible. It's most certainly do for Nick. Because I am willing to do work, but I don't want to start work <laughs> in the wrong direction. Wrong direction. So. Yeah. Okay. Don't block Dave from doing work, please. <laughs> All right. I, I will go and merge the these conflicted yeah. things, and uh, I may come back if I wind up with a, a goof. Um, we are going to be meeting on Friday at mm -hmm. uh, what for me is 11 a.m. Uh, it should be could you 1500 which UTC. Friday? Which Friday? Could you reiterate that? Uh, Octo uh, October, April 2. April 2nd, Friday, we are meeting again. Please look yeah. at the agenda item at the list. Yeah. Thanks, all. If anybody wants to stick around, I'm happy to listen to any opinions now because I do not have a strong okay. opinion on this one either way. I have to go. Bye -bye. I'm going to take direction on this one. It's, if you uh, bring up the uh, table of contents of the current document in the you know editor's view or whatever, then this one will be fairly obvious what the what the issue is. I don't know if we have that working, do we? Yeah, we, we did because I just did it. So click on editor's copy, and then on the far right side. Okay, so there you go. So scroll down. All right, so look uh, right here. Stop. Okay, so in section three, you see architectural overview. That's where our data flow diagram is. And then we have appraisal policies and reference values. Okay, now scroll down to section eight. And you see evidence, endorsements, and attestation results, right? So the question is endorsements and reference values are in completely different sections, okay? They're both lines right next to each other on the diagram. Neither of them are in scope for standardization. So conceptual messages right now, the question is conceptual messages section, is that scope to be all the lines? Or just the ones in scope for standardization, because right now it's neither. Right, because we have endorsements in this list. Right, so should endorsements and, move up, or should the other ones move down, or something else is my question. And and yeah, okay. Huh. I would like conceptual meth messages to only cover evidence and attestation results. Okay. So your um, preference is that endorsements moves up next to. I. I okay. And it would move up next to into section seven, yeah. into section three. Well, the, section three is where reference values and appraisal policies are. Right. This came up when I was doing one of the other pull requests, and I needed to add a section reference. And I was trying to figure out do I reference section eight or section three for this collection of stuff. And so I that's when I first noticed this for the first time. So. So I would prefer, I think, yeah, that endorsements went up to here at three, you know, right after reference value. Okay. I think that to make sense to me okay. because I think that by the time we're in section eight, we probably shouldn't be yeah. talking about things that are out of scope. Yeah. So uh, Ned or uh, William or anybody else have an opinion on that one? Because <clears throat> I'm happy to take direction yeah. either way. So. Well, we said we said early on that even though it was out of scope, it was okay for the architecture to talk about these things. Yep. So that we had a complete, you know, picture of what what it was, and if, I mean, I don't know what the difference is between an architectural overview and a conceptual message, an architectural overview that describes conceptual messages but doesn't call them that, and a section that calls them that but then omits them, as though <laughs> they're not part of the architecture. So, so I I'm also okay, Dave, if we were to move this up to be consistent. And then we were to also then mention briefly these reference values and endorsements again down here, you know, if we had something more tangible to speak, say about them, but I don't know what's going to be left. I don't actually know what's in this text here. Oh, that's quite a lot. Okay. Yeah, it is. But if you look at things like uh, appraisal policies, I think it's also uh, either 3.1 or 3.2 is also um, non-trivial, although that, that was the symmetry stuff that we just did. And so it actually got shorter. Appraisal policy, reference oh. values. We definitely should have endorsements here. I totally say we should have endorsements here. Because if you scroll up, right above there is the data flow diagram that has all those lines right above 3.1. Yeah, there. And you can see endorsements, reference values, appraisal policies. So those four lines, um, if endorsements yeah. move up, then those four lines are in this section. And the bottom lines, which the in-scope ones, evidence and attestation results are down below in section eight. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I go ahead. I was to say I, I agree that um, they are better in section three, okay. and I would just add a caution that you 
if you find yourself saying so much about endorsements up there that doesn't really belong, then the reader might wonder why you're talking about all this right now. And so that, that kind of argues for the further mention down again in, in Section 8. Uh, uh, when I do the work, I will uh, check. I, I, I hope that's not the case, but uh, you might be. I'll keep that in mind. I mean, it's okay. how, how much overview is overview and how much is just saying what it is? I think the, I think it, I think the other point is that there will be people that are going to read to the architecture and stop. And that's OK, right? That's as far as that's as much as they needed to know about this thing. They are going to go off, hire some people, do some projects and whatever. And those other people are going to going to, you know, go into the deeper parts. They just needed to know what this looks like. And uh and that and they need to they need to know that endorsements are a thing that they need to think about. I mean, another possibility is, and I'm not saying this is right. I'm just saying another list of things that we could pick between. Right, another one would be take three one and three two appraisal policies and reference values and move them both down into conceptual messages so everything is under section eight. Right, so all those are possible. Yeah, I, I'm David, less crazy about that. Them. But yeah. go ahead. Uh, yeah, I don't think those are conceptual messages, but I. I okay. I think the point is, is that if you're going to talk about endorsements up in section three, what are you really going to say about evidence and attestation results up in section three? And so um, it might be appropriate to, to to say that too. Um, and I don't know where. Maybe it's in a question without to to talk about it in general, and maybe even a forward reference. Um, uh, so that there's the context of what those are, and then whatever you're going to say in detail is in section eight. Well, yeah. evidence, and, and, right? They're right there in this section. They just don't have subsection titles. Yeah. So, so they're so important. They're in section three point zero. Right. Um, and in okay, section I mean, eight, in addition. So. So the, yeah, the sorry, thing okay, that, that's that's good then. So the. The conceptual messages section doesn't do much to explain what a con to, no. to give more more context around what we mean by conceptual message, and you know maybe that should be more of the focus. Explain why we're get why what, 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 why we came up with this term conceptual message and talk about how. Um, you know, we, you know, the evidence and and attestation results are, uh, you know, expected to go through some additional uh, clarification in order to be uh, fully feel defined. free. Uh, yeah. I'm not volunteering to write uh, any new text per se. Mm -hmm. I'm volunteering to move things around uh, to make them be more consistent if we think it's in, in, inconsistent right now. But I'm hoping to not make the document longer. So. Okay. If you'd like to file a different issue number or something, but here this issue number is just the fact that it's not consistent in terms of the scoping of Section 8. I'm trying to decouple uh, things that we might do. So. Yeah, so the current endorsement section is two paragraphs and they're yeah. pretty meaty. And so that. Well, how, that how does the Section 8 open? Is it? Is there essentially essentially a it's conceptual method? No, there's no eight point zero. It just jumps into eight point one yeah. evidence. That was Ned's point. Yeah. So yeah, that was my. Point. So I mean, is is that what you're really suggesting to say a little bit? Because I I think that that could be a good idea. Yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, I'd be if Ned, if you want to do the eight point zero, yeah. and I take care of the other ones, that would be fine. If you want to do something there, it's just sure. Yeah, not just not in this PR. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you're talking about just like a, a short paragraph, right? Sentences or something, yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you maybe if one you, sentence, I don't know. If you move all this stuff in, up, then it starts to be a wall text, the whole section, right? That's why I'm asking the question. I do not have a strong opinion other than I'm noticing the inconsistency, but. Yeah. But I'm just saying, I think what I'm saying is. I don't mm -hmm. think you can resolve this by not writing some new text because you're gonna have to write the mm -hmm. a summary version of endorsements to fit up there. Uh, I I will take a look and see if it makes sense to just move them up there. I don't know yet. Oh, okay. 
but it may just be moving it entirely, but we'll see if it's more complicated than that in context. So may, maybe forward or reverse references won't flow or something. I don't know until I go through it. So, okay. 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 I got to go right, and I'm yep. going to go to the merging as, as soon as I can uh, get that probably before. All right. Thanks, Michael. Before mid morning, your mid morning. Thanks. Bye. Bye, folks. Thank you. Bye, everybody.